look at Fred's boat. And okay, just I'm gonna I want to interject. Give him some tips okay. on tuning his this boat. Is, this is this is would affect all boats really. Okay. What I'm telling him and do what I do now. George now would has every boat. Fred's boat. He's going over and retuning the boat. Turns the unit on first, then the boat. Check for operation to make sure everything's working. Very well. Looking good. This is something that's always very important. Is your tension line going back, controlling tension on your wheel here on your servo. If this breaks, this whole line going underneath will, will fall off. So we always want to watch this. That's just a, that has nothing to do with tuning, but if this breaks, you can't do anything. And George, hold it, let me interject. You said that you have 20, you have many of these tension lines if people need them. Yeah, I've made about 20 of them to replace that anybody has problems. Also, you were given a spare one when you picked up your boat, you also got a, a rubber spare. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna check the basic tuning. The first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the boat all over and see what I uh, like and what I don't like. I just pull the sails in. Now I'm gonna take a look and see. Oh, look at this. Put the sails in, look how tight this is. Okay, you see what he's saying? No. Look, you see what George is saying here? It's too tight. See? We want this, this end here, to, to be up over here, pointing over to here and over to here. So what we've got to do is slack this off. And what watch you, watch is, what you say. And what we're gonna do now is take this bowsy and relax it a little bit and now we'll get the movement that we need. Now we're getting this to come up to here and to come over to here. Okay, is that out enough now? That's perfect. Okay, so... Now this is important. Because remember now, these are flat cut sails and you need this, you need this movement here to let the air flow, to let the sail fill up and flow back. This is why you never have it down straight. Over tension is no good. Okay. okay, I'm gonna check back stay, it feels pretty good. That's about right. You you can tell if it's too much tension, you know, or it's too loose. And what you do here is, now look at it, it's too loose. All right, now you just come back and you feel this. And you put just enough tension on it but what? But you so see, where it feels nice. That yes, feels yes, but good. You, but you see, to uh, we average sailors, George, you say tension it. It feels nice. A lot of us don't. What? What? What is another guide for that? As to this back, because everybody, this backstay tension on these boats is somewhat critical. Is it not, George? Yes. You you want enough tension to keep the jib full stay tight so it will cut the wind and that's what i've done okay so and now if, if it was too loose this would fall back and hit here so it all is connected so if you loosen this up too loose that's no good loosen it it's up too tight loosen it all the way all right we're going to loosen it up a little bit now you see it's act if it's too loose, that's actually hitting. And you see this back. See, look, look what it's doing. See? See? So you want to put enough tension on that to straighten this up. Okay. And now, that's it. Now ten so look, tension it again. The same thing. And just okay. And it just feels right. If it's real, real tight, you don't want that. Okay. Okay, now let's go to the sail the mainsail adjustments. Okay. We just remember, we relax this a little bit to get this in and out. Just a little bit of travel. Now we want to check the jib travel. That looks a little bit far out. A little bit far out. Maybe we could take it in. I'm coming over here. 
We might be able to take that in. See, he says it's too far out. Yeah, it's gonna let too much coming out of here. So normally on the wind, now you see the pressure is, the wind will push it over. So what we're gonna do now is tighten that up about an eighth of an inch. And where are you gonna tighten it up? Okay, we come right to this adjustment here. And this is your main sheet adjustment. You Notice see. that? Right. It's traveling here. Now I just let it out further. So now we just slide the bowsie back and get it back further until we get the travel we want. It's still out a little bit too far. We'll take a little in, a little bit more in. Do you want the angle of the the jib, what I call the jib boom and the main boom, to be pretty much the same? Now we're looking about the same. Now we're looking about right. But is that correct, George? You want the, the... We're looking, if you can come back here and take a look or from back there, you're, you're about right in here and you're about right in here. Okay, that's... So now, now we'll adjust this later, but we got to get this first. Okay. Now we've got that, so let's just slide this rubber keeper up here and that just keeps it from, from laying around. That's all. Okay. So everybody has the adjustment. The adjustment of the main and the jib is critical. And that's what George is saying. So right, they- We're gonna go one more factor here. I wanna, well actually two. There are two sliding, I guess you just call them slides, right. that control the jib the foot, how many, I use basically a finger and a half to two fingers. Now that's a little bit tighter, but it's okay. This is a little bit loose, but not a lot. Okay. So what we want to do is to tighten it up, you just slide this back up a little bit. And that, it's like a little O-ring, isn't it? That, that little. That, that. Is it just slides up. Okay, this little thing right here. Yeah, sorry. Now watch this. If you take this down, now look at the... Look, you see, got three fingers. See, so, so two, we're, two, gonna, we're gonna jang it back up. And this is the... Until we get about two fingers in there. Right. And this is the same as outhaul tension in the boats that all of you exactly. probably sail. Right, that instead of a line to adjust right. to the outhaul, and everything, okay. this is your outhaul. And that's that's for the mainsail. Now we're okay, going to go to the jib. Here's one more important point. Take a look at the jib. It almost goes all the way to the end. That's just the way the boat's built because they can't have it too long. It would, it would bind in here. Now, notice this. The, the, uh, the grommet? Yeah, that's holding on. Right. What we want here is a little teeny bit of slack. You love that word, don't you? Fred? Yeah, I do. <laughs> now, he's taking that little, what I call an O-ring, and, yeah, and he's moving sort of, it slightly forward. Just, just a just little a, bit. And you can, in other words, and, I don't want this pinched. I want this to move freely. Right. Look at the backstay. Same thing. It's a nice, free... It's maybe just a little bit too loose, but you want just a little movement in there so it moves. Because if, if you're pinching them off, it's gonna keep that fitting. Right, right. If, if, you, if you pinch them too tight together, then this will not move with okay. the wind. Okay, okay, the next important point is taking a look at the sails and, and the, this is the kicking strap. This is the kicking strap, which moves. Now, on top of that is the downhole, which is also controlled by a bowsie. But you can slack this off and notice you get this effect. Right. No, you don't want that. You just want it barely holding. You want a little bit of scalloping in there. In other words, it's going to have a little bit. Don't worry about that. I would rather have a little bit of scalping. So we and want it too a, tight. a slightly, slightly less tension. 
Is that correct or incorrect? Just, just, a, just, uh, just a little bit, like a sixteenth okay. of an inch. And that's that little Bowser there. Okay, now from now, the, the, now the kicking strap has a lock nut on it. You maybe you have to back it off. You have to back the you nut off. off. Now you turn this and lift the, You lift this up, or you or you put it down by turning this mechanism here. Right. So, what's the adjustment? Where do you want it? Okay, now, where do you want it? If, again, this is where we're gonna have to look at the boat and pretend we have wind on it. We don't want it too okay, tight. I gotta, I gotta follow you here. So you gotta- Okay, we don't, what are we gonna do? Right there, right there. All right. But you gotta, I gotta get behind you here. Okay. Okay. I, I, you got to get it this way a little bit, like that. Right. Here okay. Way. Now, tuning this is very critical because you will either spill too much air up here, or you'll have it too tight, like this. Is it too tight? So it's, you see the slack in here. Okay. I'm doing this manually. Okay. He's doing this overriding okay. this All right. to show you the difference in the sail and what we're looking for. It's just a little bit of curl, so I'm going to tighten it up just a touch. And we will demonstrate this when we have our meeting with Skip. Hopefully, maybe George will be able to join us, and he will also uh, re-summarize a few of these adjustments. Okay, so again, he's adjusting the, it is essentially... The chicken strap. It's, he, we call it a kicking strap for these model boats, but to it's all of you, more or less a bang. it's it's actually a van, and it's controlling the shape of that sail. Right. The tighter the van, the flatter the sail. Correct, now, George? Now I've just about got it in about the best position you're going to get. Okay. So once you find the, the sweet spot in here, right? Then take this locking nut which is underneath of this, it just happened to be, and, and lock it down tight. Whoops, I'm gonna have to hold it. Can you hold that, Fred? And no, I'm, I'll, I'm I'll, holding that up. No, hold this, the, the nut itself, this. This. And I'll tighten that up. Okay. So you understand, I was holding this, this nut right here so he could lock it in. Okay, now we, I wanna double check that. That looks good. Also, I'm noticing this is starting to take shape too. Okay. Good job. All right. Now, last thing. Let's go to the backstay as the last thing on this tune. Beautiful. You, you, I want, I want jurors to show you the tension of the backstay because he thinks it's perfect right now. He's feeling it. Okay. See? Okay. It could be a touch looser. Are touch tighter, but this is the in meat. real heavy winds. You want it nice and snug, and just normal winds. You just want it holding in place, plus a little bit more. Okay. And show what that does to the jib too. Go up to the jib well, because that controls the jib also. It, it, yeah, it puts tension in here all the way up. It's like a big connecting up, and the tension's here. I got that a little bit too tight there. Okay. 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 Would you say that this... I, I like the way it's set up. Okay. Now. We like the way this is tuned, okay? This is... We're almost at 15 minutes, so we're going to stop on this one. Uh, okay. Go ahead, George. One more thing. One more thing. This is the center eyelet here. What you want to do is you eye the boat straight down and make sure it is centered and right now it's a little bit off can you fix it see this to me is still too much center line no that's yeah. fine it's fine okay for this boat, I'm for wrong, a model right. boat remember we got model boats and big boats so right. we got okay. Boat. okay we have that mental mentality we have to overcome okay. all right now this ring is slightly favored to starboard so what we'd have to do is just loosen this up a little bit 
and now get the ring centered and tighten this one up accordingly. There we go. Okay, here, that's better. Okay, notice this jib sheet is going st almost straight up. Now again, that is another adjustment on the boat. These are very important things, and I, I don't like to take your time here, but these are very important. Centered this ring. Right. It also has a tensioner here. It goes back to your uh, keel bolt. It's underneath the keel bolt. Okay, that's all set up. Everything's set up here. Your kicking strap or boom bang is set up. Your tension now on your mainsail is just about right here. You've got about a finger and a, uh, about a finger or two fingers here. You got about the same here. You got the jib out right about right, right about perfect there. You got a little bit of slack here, perfect. The boat is pretty much tuned up. The only thing left to do then would be this piece right here. What does that which do? Which is the jib topping lift. All right, we'll just take it and do nothing with it as if it don't exist. Why? Now, what you want to do is create a pocket for the jib to lift because there's so much tension in here. So this will pull up on it. And it, when you notice when you pull up on this, this, this gets stronger. Right. So the whole boat is basically under some tension anyway. Okay. But so did, now we just pull this down and look at the curl in there, too okay, much. Okay, but I can see that that's too much. So we're going to now wave it through the air and try to get this. Okay. That last adjustment, George, to match I, I refer to that as, it's sort of like a jib topping lift, but that's not what it is. It is a jib topping it's, lift. So this, this, this is okay, the jib topping This lift. jib topping lift controls the, the shape, the curl, the curl on your jib to give you all it's known as the slot okay it's the slot so that that okay, adjustment now, is important here we go now i've got to wave it through the air and i'm going to try to get the slot to mirror the leech and on the main i'll tell you what if you could point it to me now look at it it's too loose okay but wait I, okay too loose so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to let it down a little bit Okay, I can't see this. I'm gonna go in front of you to do this, okay? We don't want too much lift. Okay, you got it where you want it now? Not quite. That's more or less now. I want to notice that this edge is mirroring this edge. Okay. okay. We're up to 18 minutes. I hope that your attention span hasn't disappeared on us. Uh, but this is the basic tuning of the boat. And we're gonna to try to summarize this eventually in uh, writing and pictorial. Now, next Wednesday, George, do you think you can be with us next Wednesday? I'm not sure. He's not sure, okay. I'll but, try. Okay, but what we're gonna do is next Wednesday, no, no, we're doing thumbs. <laughs> we're going to do next week. Hold it, wait, no. Yeah, we're, we're going to do we're going to do some thumb testing with Skip. And the the, the 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 working of the thumbs, in my opinion, there might be a few of you that I have tried to uh, talk about the thumbs, but the thumbs are extremely important, and we're going to be talking about that next Wednesday uh, at ten o'clock. Uh, at the uh, the cove. I'm hoping George can be there. Skip is going to be running it. I would suggest that some of you bring beach chairs that uh, can't stand up too long. Thanks for, thanks for watching.